Hi, welcome to my channel. In this episode, I've traveled 400 kilometers uh, to a hotspot zone for uh, the Great Grey Owl. Hopefully, I'll see one. Let's go. So, it's the end of April and the weather is accordingly. Uh, one minute there is a hail, uh, everything gets wet and icy, and the second minute uh, the sun is shining. So the wind is uh, blowing and suddenly the wind stops. So that's just like April is. So I will be staying in this area for a couple of days, uh, living in my trusty camper. Uh, you can see more about that one on my homepage, webpage www.mixwephotography.com You're welcome to have a look in there. So let's have a look around. So the main reason that this is a good spot to watch uh, the Great Grey Owl is that it's a good hunting ground. We have these fields and in the middle of the field there is a stream and it attracts lots of bulls living here. So it comes here to get some food and there is plenty of food, especially when the winter has been long and with lots of snow. The voles survive better when there is snow. So The spring is quite late this year, but uh, it is actually here, so you can see the, the buds are getting greener. And in a few weeks oh, I would probably see leaves here on the trees as well. Well, that was a surprise. <laughs> uh, I just had a walk around telling you about the nature and suddenly I got spotted in the Great Grey. I have to go and get my gear and hopefully it's still there. Whoops. So if you let the owls have their space and don't try to get too close, they will finally accept you. And if you are uh, lucky, they will also hunt close to your position. But don't run around uh, in the grass, especially close to them, because you scare away their food. And uh, yeah, no food, no owls. Simple as that. Owls can be a pretty patient animal, so it can, it can take hours before it starts to hunt. So just a waiting game. Trying to find some new composition, walking around. Uh, the light comes and goes uh, as the cloud passes by, so the exposure varies all the time. So. But we'll wait and see what happens. So after sitting on that branch uh, for about two and a half hours, almost three hours, uh, he suddenly pooped and took off straight into the woods. Uh, no time for shots there, uh, I'm afraid. So, well, uh, it's not too late. He can still come up into the fields and uh, it's just a waiting game. So I will be standing watch. So oh, he's back. Uh, now it's up to me to find a place that I can get a good shot. And hopefully without disturbing him.
this is now quite elusive owl. It's been out of reach almost for the last half hour, five minutes. So it's sitting uh, with my left shoulder on the other side of the field, waiting for something to eat. Hopefully it will come out on this side, so still waiting. The owl is still out there, uh, but it's too dark to get any good film now, so I think we have to call this an episode. If you like this video, please subscribe, and uh, i see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.